Hey, Sean Jance here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Wednesday, August 19th, and I'm going to do it on um, Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the small cap 2000. I want to mention something, make sure everybody understands what's going on tomorrow. Uh, if you go to ForexFactory.com, go to Calendar, there is meeting minutes tomorrow, which is at noon, FOMC. So if, you've, if you're a newer trader, you've probably heard of FOMC, but you've probably heard of FOMC statement. And uh, there's a difference between FOMC statement and FOMC minutes. And so minutes really is not that, uh, in, you know, it's, obviously it's red, right? But it's, it's not as important as the statement. And so what minutes is, is you can go ahead and click on this and read it. You know, it's just a detailed record of their most recent uh, meeting. And that's pretty much all it is. You know, there's no press conference or anything. And, um, but a lot of people are going to be watching this minutes. It's tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern. A lot of people are going to be watching this minutes because rate hike, you know, that's, you know, get used to that term for the next six months. Rate hike. And so everybody's going to be watching this at 2 o'clock. And so just to make sure that if you're green, you got really good green going into 2, you might just want to take it because this is almost flipping a coin. It's either going to pop or um, drop or literally do nothing. And so it's like it's like a flip in a coin. You have no idea. And so if you got some decent green, you might want to take it. Just message me in the chat if you got questions because anything could happen. They could say anything in those minutes, right, in that report, and people will freak out, make a big deal over something stupid. And then the chart goes nuts, and you lose all your hard-earned greens. So just, just letting you know here, last two hours of the trading day, minutes will be coming out. You can actually go into CNBC app, click on this left here, and then uh, just drop down Trader TV and then hit play. You can watch CNBC as it comes out and kind of get some news on what's going on. We'll start over here on the ES. And oh boy, oh boy, uh, last night's trade plan, which would be if you're watching this in the morning, um, Monday night's trade plan was one of the best I've ever done. It was amazing, especially since I've incorporated, you know, how to trade spreads, where to enter, where to take profits. It was nuts. It was just freaking awesome. And so when I look at the CS chart, though, and the reason it was so good is because of this four-hour sell trigger right there. You can go back and watch it if you need to. Uh, we were probably right here last night, and I was like, go get anything you want here. You can go grab some dailies, at the monies, and I was even like spreads, right? I made like $150 on the way down here, two contracts, good stuff. And so, but here's what's cool, what I like about the CS. It's hitting support right here, okay? Obviously, you can see we got a lot of resistance going on. It's kind of coming back. And so, again, I'm not being a buyer here. Uh, but what I want to do actually is for this to come back and give me another shot at selling this. So we can look at what I want to do tomorrow. We go in, in, in here into the plot chart, show you how I want to play this tomorrow. Go to the 15 minute chart. Okay. So noticed here, okay, we had the high here and I said, wait for lower low, lower low, go get it. Right. Good stuff. And so now we're actually starting at a really small box. So 80% rules could happen tomorrow, or could. I mean, more than likely they will since the box is so small. Already, we're right now, we're getting a pretty good 15-minute candle sell trigger right here at Valerie High. But if we move to the one-hour chart, I want to show you this. This looks like it has just a little bit more room to go up and that's totally fine with me I want this actually notice our one hour chart here it does look like this has just a little bit more umph in it because this is almost exactly where I want it to come into this region I more so want to use yesterday's value area high as resistance right in this region so that I can grab these dailies right here currently these dailies you can go look at the prices of them they're just a tad expensive, and I'm feeling that if I wait, I might be able to get more money out of these up here because these are the ones that I want. And notice this one-hour chart. It looks like it has a little bit more room to go up. You can kind of see, you know, one-hour chart 
cycles pretty well, right? Up, down, uh, down, and then it still looks like it still's got more room, right? So overnight, this may go higher, and I really, I actually really hope it does because then when I wake up, hopefully our one hour chart somewhere here, and then I can grab these dailies up there. Just wait for a one minute uh, higher, low, lower high, and then we'll sell the crap out of it. Um, it's really tough though to, I can't make a trade now because we're, we're in the middle. I mean, look, right, we got the highs up here. We're stuck in the middle here. We got, in my opinion, the buy zones are anywhere until, you know, down here. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to be looking to buy this tomorrow. Um, if I do anything, I would rather much, uh, if I buy anything, let's quickly go to that 15 minute chart. Um, honestly, it's going to be the TF if I buy anything, and I'll show you why. Uh, value area high, there might be a buy trigger there. Notice how many times it held a support here. So that is now turned into value area high. So if you want to look for a buy trigger there, just don't be breaking yesterday's, right? We can't break yesterday's low because here's the deal. If you break yesterday's low, wait for a pullback and then sell right there, and then you can maybe... Spread, 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 all the way down to the minus 0.5 deviation right there. So it's likely to do that tomorrow, that's for sure. Okay, so if I want to also try look for seller, selling opportunities tomorrow, this is actually a very easy plan, just like yesterday was. I got sell triggers up here, maybe value rate high as well, but I'd rather it come higher. I also got a sell trigger right there at plus 0.5, and I also got a sell trigger right there at value area low. So let me show you that picture real quick. Okay, price comes up into value area low. You can look for sell triggers right there. That's kind of where I, that's another sell trigger. And then I'd probably enter a sell, maybe probably a spread if you want to do the binary, totally fine. Maybe a spread right here. Take Try and take profit right there at that minus 0.5. Okay. So box is actually super small. It's a very small value box. Um, we're stuck in the middle though, so we need to move up for me to want to sell this chart. And uh, I'd like to grab these dailies up here if I can. Don't forget, right there at two o'clock, FOMC. Okay. So just be careful going into two. If you got good green, take it. Uh, or if you have good bias, you can do out of the monies going into FOMC. So basically, you, you can absolutely trade going into FOMC. Just make sure it's more than likely out of the money, right? Don't be risking 80 to make 20 going into FOMC. Um, that's pretty much it on this chart, really. I got sell zones up above. I don't like being a buyer anywhere, really. Um, so really, what I'm hoping is that this comes higher. You can maybe wake up around 3 o'clock Eastern and kind of see where we are. That's where a lot of movement starts happening. Or maybe you can go in and put some working orders up here and hope they get filled while you're sleeping. So if we move over to TF, and actually this is going to be a different plan, so I'll have to spend just a little bit more time on the TF chart. If we look at the TF 4-hour chart, it's not really coming back. TF got after it yesterday. This 4-hour sell trigger was a beauty. You can go back and watch this one too. I said just go get whatever you want up there. Forever sell triggers will make you a lot of money once you learn how to do this properly. But now that we see this, we're actually stuck in the middle. Notice that. We're stuck in the middle. And if we look at the one hour chart, it's actually catching a decent one hour buy trigger right now as we speak. But Honestly, I do not want to buy this. I don't want to buy this. I'm not buying anything under here. I just don't want to do it going into FOMC tomorrow. I don't see an edge. But if we move to my plot chart, here's actually what I'd rather do. Okay? Show you what I'd rather possibly do. I don't want to buy anything now. But um, I would rather wait for overnight movement. And if I buy, it would have to come up and then try one more time fail to take it higher than where they took it here, right? So here's our low. Our low is right there. If I buy, I want the I want the bears to try one more time and fail, and then I buy value area low. And you definitely, definitely have potential for an 80% rule all the way up to the top if you want to try it. 
So again, you can also see how to properly buy value area low. Here's the picture of that. Right, so buy value area low. So I don't want to buy it now. I would rather this try one more time here and then I buy that. Just don't take it lower than where they're taking it here, right back here, right around the 1745 mark. Here's also something, uh, if we go to Fibonacci retracement, since this chart really got after it, there's a decent measured move. So draw from the high to the low, and um, you got the 61.8 sell trigger. You got a lot of sell triggers going on right there. So the beautiful thing is, is we can maybe get our spread buy and spread it 80% rule all the way up here, and then maybe sell it all the way back down once we hit our 61.8. I'm going to be taking my profit. If I do get in, I'll be taking my profit right at value area high, though. I'm not going to hold it and be greedy. I'll take my profits at value area high. Don't forget, tomorrow, 2 o'clock, anything could happen. That's my trade plan. It's pretty simple. ES probably looks the best for a sell trigger, and then the TF looks decent for a buy trigger. So honestly, this is... Um, up in the air. I'm going to wait for some movement overnight before I make a decision on this. So message me if you have